Hey guys and welcome back. I hope you're all well. So I'm actually in the middle of doing my morning skincare routine and I thought in honour of Self Care Sunday I would demo a couple of new Poundland skincare products from their hashtag 6 collection. I went in there the other day and I noticed lots of new products including four new items within the hashtag 6 collection. If you haven't seen my previous video where I tested out the the original six products from Poundland then I'll link that down below but let's get right into what's new now in Poundland they still have the original six products available within Poundland but what I saw that was new was a hand cream and also some makeup remover wipes and then the two products that I'm gonna test out today which is you guys know I love a sheet mask. They have released a anti-aging collagen woven face mask and also another favorite item of mine, not particularly from this brand, but I just love these in general, is the anti-aging collagen hydrogel eye patches. So the Waven mask, it says this fights visible signs of aging with collagen and a special blend of herbal extracts. And it says on the front that it's suitable for all skin types. Now out of all the sheet masks that I've tried, whether they're Korean or not, most of them are made in Korea. But I did notice on the back of the packaging of these that they are made in China. And it also says on the back that they are against animal testing. So the Hydro Gel Eye Patches, you get four pairs in here. They're suitable for all skin types and they fight visible signs of aging again with hydrolyzed collagen and hyaluronic acid in. And I think that is about it. So the original lineup of products, the packaging inside the boxes was quite basic, but I do quite like the outer packaging with the mint green and the bit of, I guess this looks like purple at the bottom. Obviously these are a pound each. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test them together and I'm actually gonna start by putting the eye patches on first and then go in with the sheet mask. This morning I have double cleansed, exfoliated with the exfoliating pads that I use, toned and popped on an essence. So we'll go in with these products and then I'll finish with a moisturizer and an SPF and a eye cream as well. So let me show you inside the Collagen Hydro eye patches. I think these are great that you get four in for a pound and they are these rubber ones. So they look like this. They're very similar actually to some I tried, I'm sure in um, Primark. So they're this pretty pink color and you can see the liquid inside of them. These I have to leave on for 20 to 30 minutes. And then the sheet mask, it says leave on for 15 to 20 minutes. So I think in total, I'll leave this on for 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna open these patches up so you can see. I've mentioned before that I do like keeping eye patches and sheet masks in um, the fridge, but especially eye patches if you are applying them in the day, which is generally when I would apply this kind of product, just because they're nice and cooling and they're supposed to sort of wake up your eyes, so I wouldn't tend to put them on at night. So this feels really nice actually, and it's quite refreshing already, even though I haven't put these in the fridge. I'll just pop the other one on. Yes, they feel really nice and cooling. The only problem I do find with these gel under eye masks is they can slip down the face sometimes. So I'm hoping that the sheet mask will hold these on better and then I'm just gonna use my sheet mask protector just to make sure everything does stay in place properly. These don't smell of anything. 
with the if you've used any of the original hashtag six products then you'll know they've got a slight smell it's the vitamin e that you can smell in these i think um especially the day and night cream right let's go in with the mask i'm excited that poundland have got sheet masks of their own i know they do the derma v6 i think it is which i have tried out before and i do really enjoy them but it's nice to see them coming out with their own sheet mask so this is what the sheet mask looks like it's a woven fabric one it's got no scent to it it's also got this backing on i know they usually put this backing on to make it easier but i do find just taking it off that and doing it this way okay have you guys seen that video going around of that guy applying um, a sheet mask and literally it looks like he doesn't even have a sheet mask on he applies it so well and it's really clever how he does it I don't think I would be able to do that I'll try and find it and maybe post it on my YouTube story so you can see it or Instagram but it's so clever how he applies it and you just can't see that he's even got a sheet mask on. Okay so this does have the slits so you can shape it to the face better. It's a slightly thicker tissue mask compared to some i've used but this is really nice and it's well saturated as well and then you guys know i usually rub the excess liquid down my neck right so i'm going to pop this over the top these you can actually get from poundland i got this in singapore i think i've mentioned this to you before and they are so good for just keeping the mask all in place okay let's set a timer for 20 minutes. I am actually going to use my rose quartz roller, you've seen me use this before and I'm just going to gently massage the um, essence or liquid from the mask into my skin. I really love doing this and using the mask protector um, makes it less messy as well. Right, okay, let's get this off. I'm just gonna get the remaining serum inside of here and pop the rest of it on my face and my neck. Well, I would say on first impression, this is definitely very hydrating. With regards to the anti-aging aspect, I would probably have to use this a good few more times to notice if there was a visible difference with regards to that but I think this is a really nice affordable sheet mask if you've never tried one before and you want to try one out or you just want a little pick me up it's not irritating at all it just felt really nice while I had it on um the eye patches I would say they did slip down a little bit I will try these without the sheet mask but I just wanted to show that you can use them together I think yeah the eye patches did refresh my eyes and they do look hydrated but I don't know really if that was because of the sheet mask or both of them combined so I will keep you updated on using the eye patches separately but again these are really affordable I think they're great because they have four packs in so four pairs for a pound I mean really you can't go wrong and you can just keep them in the fridge for whenever you need them I do think these eye patches are also great I'm sure I've spoken about this before um, to use them while you're doing your makeup so I usually start with my eye makeup and then I do my face makeup last so it's a really good way to get some hydration into your eyes before you put on your concealer and foundation um, and yeah 
I think these are great. And honestly, for a pound, I think they're worth giving it a go and testing them out yourself. So actually what I'm gonna finish using is my other Poundland skincare products. So I just have the anti-aging eye cream and the anti-aging day cream. This has rubbed off a bit. These two products and the night cream I've been really enjoying using. I don't use them every day, but they are super hydrating. So let's just quickly go in and finish off my skincare routine with the eye cream. I really like this because it's nice and lightweight and it sinks into the skin pretty well. It's just one of those nice, gentle, everyday eye creams. Then I'm gonna go in with the day cream. This takes a little bit longer to sink in, but I do quite like the texture. It's a bit thicker, um, well obviously it's a cream, so it's a bit thicker than a lotion. But I do like using this, especially when I haven't got any makeup on as well. Just gives it a nice glow to the skin, just a natural glow. Don't forget your neck as well. And the SPF that I've been using is not from Poundland, but you may have seen me use this before, I think last year. It's the Australian Gold Botanical Sunscreen. This is in SPF 50. It's actually tinted this one. It is a little bit messy, but again, I do like this on no makeup days. Okay guys, that is it. I really hope you found this helpful. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of the four new products within the Poundland collection. And give this video a big thumbs up if you did find it helpful. Happy Self Care Sunday guys, and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care, bye.